The topic of this video is autocorrect in Word 2010. Autocorrect is a great time saver for people when they're using Microsoft Word. A couple of examples would be, in my case, my name is Joe Peterson, and when I want to put Joe Peterson into a document, I don't type in Joe Peterson. I've got a little code built for myself, an autocorrect code. I type that code into my document, and it recognizes that as a code, and it replaces my code with my full name, Joe Peterson. Another example might be if you work with maybe a bank uh, as one of your customers, maybe the customer's name is the Toronto Dominion Bank, for example. Rather than type in Toronto Dominion Bank over and over again, what you can do for yourself is build a little code for yourself, an autocorrect code. You put that code into your document, the system automatically recognizes that as a code and replaces it with a full piece of text. So it's a great time saver for those things that you put into your documents on, a, on an ongoing or regular basis. Enjoy the video. I'm in a blank Microsoft Word 2010 document, and I'm going to use this document to demonstrate how you build autocorrect codes. An example of an autocorrect code would be, in my case, my name is Joe Peterson, and rather than type Joe Peterson into my documents in the future, I want to put a code in. My code that I'll use will be JP. It will recognize that code as a code, and it will replace it with the words Joe Peterson. So here's an example of using autocorrect in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go to the File tab up in the ribbon and click. And on the drop-down list, I'll move down to options on the left hand side of the word option window i'll click on the proofing tab i'll move across and click on the autocorrect option button that takes me into the autocorrect option window now in this window there's other things i could do if i chose to for example i could correct two initial capitals i could have the system automatically capitalize the first letter of sentences i could have it capitalize the first letter of cells in the table I could capitalize the names of days of the week. So if I were to take Monday, for example, all in lowercase, it'll capitalize letter M for me. It'll also correct the accidental uses of the capital locks key. So if by mistake, I put, my, put the capital locks key on and not, and not be aware of it, it'll automatically turn that off for me and correct the typing as I go along. Lower down is an area where I would build, I'm going to build a code for myself. And further down the window are some pre-built codes that came with the software. These are all built by Microsoft uh, themselves. So I'll click on the replace box. I'm going to type a code for my autocorrect. In this case, I'm typing in JP. Now it's important to understand that the code itself is case sensitive. So make sure you type it in lowercase. That way you're never going to guess whether you did your code in uppercase or lowercase. Second thing to remember is it should always be more than one, letter, one character long. If I were just to use the letter J as my code, I try to put the letter J into, an, into a Canadian postal code. It'll replace the four words Joe Peterson in the postal code. And the third, thing to, the third thing to remember is is to make sure that your code does not spell a word. If, for example, I was to use the word, uh, the letters T-O, for example, as a code, well, I have a hard time using the word two in the future. So I've got my code typed in the replace box. I'm now going to click on the with box. I'm going to type in my name the way I want to show up in the future in documents. And you notice here I did capitalize where it's appropriate. I'm now going to move to the lower part of the window. Now, if I want to build more than one autocorrect, I would click on the Add button. What that'll do, it'll add the code JP onto this list in the lower part of the window. It'll leave the window open. In my case, I'm going to click on the OK button. And when I do that, it'll add it to the list. It'll close the window off. So I'm not going to click on OK. And now back to the Word option window. I'll click OK again. And then back into my document. And I'm finished now. I'm just going to test it out to make sure that it works. I'm just going to type in JP. I'll touch the space bar on my keyboard and it replaces that with Joe Peterson in my document. If I were to type in JP and put a period in, for example, it'll put my name in and put the period in afterwards. We can do another example of doing an autocorrect code. Uh, I work with an organization called South Lake Regional Health Center. I want to build a code for them. So again, exactly the same steps. I'll go to the File tab. I'll move down to Options. I'll click on Proofing. I'll move across and click on autocorrect option. It takes me back to the same window I was in before. I'm in the replace box. I'll type in the code. In this case, I'll type in SL. Again, the rules are it's case sensitive, so make sure you type it in a lowercase. Make sure that it's two, at least two characters long, and make sure that it doesn't spell a word. I'll now move to the with box, and I'll type in replacement text. And when I'm finished, I'll click on OK. I'll click on OK again, and I'm now back into my document. And I'm just going to test it out. If I type an SL in the space, it'll put in Salt Lake Regional Health Center into my document. Those are two great examples you can use. Uh, you can use to uh, you create autocorrects for yourself. I suggest creating an autocorrect for your name, and also an autocorrect for the organization that you work for. 
Wow, so I hope that you can see some real valuable ways to use autocorrect in order to make yourself more, effic or more efficient as you use Microsoft Word. Talk about efficiencies, we have a lot of videos on our website at www.joecomputertips.com that provides you with a lot, a lot of ways to become more efficient and more effective as you use the different Microsoft Word applications. Please come to our site on a regular basis. My name again is Joe Peterson, and thanks for watching today's video.